Welcome to Artists We Love. My name is Okiba Tabalo and I am here with Brother Rick Mathis, director of Black Friday Super Film. And it really, really breaks down what we need to do with our money. And also, um, some of the things I loved about it. One was the storyline. Two was looking at the impacts of um, segregation versus integration. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody was dead on it. You know, one of the things I really love about your approach to it is it's not scripted. So you can speak from here. And that's where you get the truth. So I've known you for a long time. Oh yeah. And I had no idea this is what was happening. You know what I'm saying? Like dialing back to the uh, poetry days and oh, yeah. that old deal. So that's like some 15, 20 years ago. Oh yeah. And everything. So it's uh, Atlanta. The great thing about Atlanta is that you can know somebody or know of somebody and not know everything that's going on. So we'll disappear for a minute, then reappear with the film. Oh yeah. Talk to me about the uh, process and well, how did you go from there to where you are now? Well, you know, when we um, when we were doing poetry back at Yin Yang, you know, yeah. the Patty Hut, um, you know, that was preparing me for this because it's all storytelling. Mm -hmm. So as you know, as time progressed, um, I went on to do management. I managed Georgia Me, who was on HBO's Deaf Poetry, won the Tony Award, the Peabody Award, and um, some other awards that uh, from the Broadway show. So we took that show around the world and when we came back to Atlanta, we was like, you know, so what's the next thing? So I decided to take the art form of poetry and put it in the form of a DVD. And we did Word, which included uh, CeeLo, uh, The Last Poets, Amir Baraka, Sonia Sanchez, and a lot of the poets that had been on HBO's Deaf Poetry. Right. So that was my intro into film. Mm -hmm. So at that point, I wasn't shooting, I wasn't editing. I was more so just producing, bringing the whole elements, all of the elements together. Right. So uh, from that, you know, I learned how to shoot, learned how to edit. Um, did a lot of work with Rolling Out Magazine. So I was the supervising producer over there for the video department. So a lot of the college kids that I bought in, I learned from them because I went to school for music management. Right. Never once went to school for film. 